Welcome to this uh, shortwave for beginners. Uh, this is part 12, where we talk about what is SDR, a software defined receiver. SDR is more and more popular. It is basically uh, something that I do that I like a lot. I have SDR receivers, and they are a little difficult to understand for some, but in reality, it's very simple what they are. So here is a picture of mine, which is my SDR Play RSPDX device. This is what I use daily as a radio. It's a software defined receiver. What does that mean? It simply means that this box is the radio. It has everything that it needed to receive shortwave. It's plugged to my antennas, but it requires a little something that's missing. You notice no knobs, no buttons. That's because a software defined radio needs a computer to work. The computer has the controls to have it working. And what it looks like is this. Here's an example with one of my own videos. This is the software that I use running DSDR. This is a control panel. It's the missing buttons and knobs that I need to have the radio working. So it's a radio, it actually plugs to an antenna, it's just that it actually has to be controlled somehow and the computer is the control part of the radio. What are the advantages of having SDR receivers rather than a portable radio, for example, or a tabletop model? Well, it's the flexibility. You notice here there's a lot of buttons and a lot of things you can control. And this is basically not even, you know, 10% of everything you can do. Basically, a SDR has a lot more options that you can tweak and play with. It has the um, also ability and the fun part of having, and if I start here the, uh, the video just to show you, it's a waterfall at the bottom. One of the things that is a marvelous of a uh, software defined radio is the ability to see the signals, not just to hear them. And all the lines that you see here are lines of transmissions and it can actually receive, and depending on the model, a very wide band of the shortwave spectrum. That means you can see, for example, here, if I would like, up to 10 megahertz at a time, meaning that for you can watch what's happening 10 megahertz wide of signals. Why would you like to do that? Well, one of the advantage is that because of the visuals, sometimes you can actually see a signal pop up that you would have missed on a regular receiver. So that's the positive side. There's a lot of tweaks, a lot of things that you can do. And a lot of the models today are very, very good and almost, if not as good as tabletop models that are very expensive. For example, this RSP device that I use is easily as good as the, the uh, tabletop that I use, which is the ICOM SCRD500 and its sensitivity and capability of receiving the signals. So the visual aspect is amazing because it helps you see all the signals that could pop up everywhere on the spectrum. So you can click, you know, just point and click and you're listening to that signal. What are the downside of SDR radios? SDR receivers require some form of computer to work. It could be a smartphone in some cases. It could be a tablet. It could be a full computer. And that is could be a downside for a lot of people, especially if you're not very good with technology. The fact that you always need a computer or tablet is also sometimes a downside. It actually doesn't make it portable much. Now, yes, with a small tablet and, and, and if you're a little uh, you know tech savvy, you can actually have a portable operation off of it. But still, it's not like taking a little portable receiver and going somewhere and listening. That uh, is for sure. 
Also, depending on the setup, sometimes some of these might actually be very noisy because we know that computers and radio don't often go well together because the computer will generate noise. Sometimes some of these SDRs, depending on the quality of the SDR and the quality of what you're using as antennas and cables and all of that, will make the signals very noisy because of your computer that you're using. So these are all little things that are in there. But if you're a computer guy, if you like computers, you like radio, SDRs are fun for that. It brings both worlds together uh, for sure. So, like I said, a simple, uh, the, the, the simplest explanation of a SDR or a software-defined radio, it's a radio with no knobs. And the knobs, well, they're in the computer. It's the program that you use that actually are controlling the radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.